Ratings agency Moody sees limited economic impact from Australia's bushfire crisis. It says that that's because the fires mainly hit sparsely populated areas. Moody's doesn't see any immediate risk to Australia's sovereign credit rating either, but it does warn that the increasing frequency and intensity of natural disasters will contribute to recurring fiscal costs for the government. Tourism, as an example in Australia, nosedived since the fires began and small businesses who rely on holiday trade to make their money are suffering. Roger Maynard with this report. It's lunchtime at Schwartz's Cafe and Bakery at Wentworth Falls in the Blue Mountains. Outside, the tables are empty. Inside, the cafe is just ticking over. News of the bushfires has sent trade tumbling. Most of the time, like back in 94, which was a really bad fire season, it was all over within three weeks. Um, now we're talking three months um, and the smoke and just, it's just been disastrous, you know, and just, just no end in sight at the moment. Now Nicholas may have to lay off some of his staff. A mixture of passing tourist trade and locals have kept this family business thriving for more than 30 years. But like so many other shops and restaurants, turnover is down by up to 60%. Everywhere you look, popular holiday destinations are empty, from the beaches to the mountains. The fires have taken a heavy toll. Today, a mixture of mist and smoke haze has blanketed one of Australia's biggest natural wonders. This is Echo Point Lookout in the Blue Mountains, one of Australia's most popular destinations. Usually it attracts thousands of people at this time of year. Today it's practically deserted. And that's because there's nothing to look at. Tourism posters give a hint of the view visitors are missing, but it's naturally disappointing if you've travelled halfway around the world to see it for yourself. A little disappointed. <laughs> I came from Argentina to see. I'm still fascinated because it looks like a white wall and I know that it's out there but yeah can't quite see it but I know it's there. It is disappointing but we enjoyed this look as well. So. Bushfires have already raged through much of the Blue Mountains. Luckily this part has escaped the flames though not the smoke that envelops the entire region. It's meant the roads and hotels are largely empty and it's really hurting those who depend on the holiday season to keep their business afloat. But they're fighting back. Business at uh, a peak time uh, in its cycle in the Blue Mountains has really been suffering uh, and uh, uh, we're going to do something about that. Uh, we're holding a business summit. Uh, we are employing a shop local uh, policy. We'll be encouraging other local governments within our region to come and shop here in the Blue Mountains, encourage our locals to shop in the Blue Mountains, bringing together businesses and federal and state representatives to look at what the federal and state governments can do to support our businesses. Nationally, there is an even bigger challenge, how to attract international tourists back again. It's an industry that contributes nearly $40 billion to the economy. Last year, nine million overseas visitors holidayed down under, making tourism Australia's fourth largest export industry. To keep them coming will require a colossal effort from tourism chiefs. A lot of it depends on whether the state, national or regional tourism bodies really get their act together in terms of remarketing destinations. Now, one thing I've learnt over dealing with crisis management in tourism destinations for the last 20 years is that those who act very quickly recover very quickly. Because Nicholas Schwartz's bakery is an established business, he will continue to earn a crust. But others are not so fortunate. There are a lot of smaller, newer businesses that are five years and younger, uh, and it's, it's killing them. They just can't afford to stay open. Some are closing literally for weeks on end because it's not worth operating um, because there's no money coming in. How long it'll take for Australian tourism to emerge from this crisis will only become clear when the bushfires end and people can actually see the way ahead. Roger Maynard, CNA at Katoomba in the Blue Mountains.